Hi folks, I'd love to share with you a vinyasa sequence. This is a swaying palm tree vinyasa. So it's a standing practice. The feet are static throughout and we move the upper body. So we're twisting, forward bending, backward bending throughout. So things to take care of are lower back. Um, if you've got any lower back issues, keep a soft bend for the knees when you're folding forwards. Um, take care of the knees as well, so when you're twisting, think of twisting through the upper body, keeping the hips facing forwards, um, in case you feel anything into the knees. Otherwise, uh, progress at a nice, slow, steady pace. This is great for beginning to regulate the breath, to help slow things down, to help ground you down. So because the feet are connected, we're taking on the qualities of a palm tree. So palm trees are very resilient. Um, they have a, a really quite shallow root system, but it, it provides a heavy base. So think about anchoring yourself down, especially when you exhale. So on the transitions in between the movements, think about exhaling down through the feet. Likewise, when you inhale, think about growing tall through the spine, creating length, lifting the crown of the head subtly towards the ceiling, up towards the sky. Um, also, uh, palm trees are extremely flexible, so their trunks, their stems can bend up to 50 degrees without snapping. So you'll often see them in tropi tropical climates where other trees are getting snapped and cars are being tossed in the air and houses, yet palm trees stay rooted to the ground. Um, and also, they have these feather-like leaves um, that are very adaptive to the environment so when it's bad weather they close up so they have less resistance so think about practicing with as little resistance as possible tuning into the breath moving with the breath and enjoying your practice so I'll take you through one round um, and then I'll talk about some options for advancement and things you can do to help um, lengthen the practice deepen it and get the most out of it so begin by standing well, feet underneath hips. Remember that the feet are going to be planted, so bring emphasis into the feet. And really think about the contact points between the feet and the earth. Stand tall, subtly lifting through the spine, creating length. So to begin with, focus into your breath. As you exhale, think about grounding down through the feet. And as you inhale, think about subtly creating length in the spine, drawing the crown of the head up towards the ceiling. So a nice neutral spine. So exhaling to root down, connect to the earth, inhaling to rise back up. We start by inhaling, taking the arms overhead, coming into an outward finger lock, so that's like this. Palms up towards the ceiling. As you inhale, rising up onto the toes, and using the exhale to lower you down. From here, we're going to side bend, so exhaling, doesn't matter which way. One side, using the inhale to draw you to the centre. Exhaling, opposite direction. Keeping shoulders in line, inhale back to centre. We exhale to take the palms out to shoulder level. Then inhale to turn the palms up towards the ceiling, softening through the shoulders. Exhale in to twist again, keeping those hips facing forwards. Inhale back to centre. Exhale in the opposite direction. Inhale back to centre. Exhaling once more, so grounding down. Inhaling, arms back overhead, that outward finger lock again. From here we're coming into a forward fold. Just a half forward fold, Ardha Uttanasana. So tilting at the pelvis, soft bend to the knees to protect lower back. Exhale as you come into your half forward fold. Inhale to take the arms out wide, aeroplane arms. Exhale, arms overhead, superman arms. Inhale to rebuild. Come back to standing. Then we exhale, palms through to heart centre. This is the halfway point of the practice, so you can stand here 
and tune back into the breath, take a few deep breaths here. It can be nice to close the eyes. Take a moment to come back into your centre. Reconnect with the earth, connect with the feet. The second half is more forward, backward bends. Um, so do take care, as I said before. Keep soft bend to the knees, protect lower back. So the first part I'll demonstrate sideways on. So again, standing nice and tall. Creating length in the spine as you inhale. Exhale into root down. Think about the connection with the feet. Exhale and we're coming into a forward fold. And from here we're going to do three fingertip breaths. So as you exhale, you squeeze head in towards the legs. Inhale, up onto the fingertips. Exhale down. Depending where your hands fall in forward fold. It may be up here. But you'll just see that it's a, a sort of a subtle back bend. Then on the fourth breath, inhaling all the way out, taking the arms up and overhead. Exhale to bring the arms down past the centre line, interlacing the fingers behind the back. Opening through the chest as you inhale, drawing the hands down past the pelvis, coming to a backward bend, inhaling back to upright. Exhaling forward folding from here, do we can ask our arms up and overhead. Inhale back up to standing, using the arms as a counterbalance. Then from here we come into taking the arms behind the back, so you can either hold like this, if you have the range of motion to do so, you can come into reverse namaste, which is a bit difficult for me at the minute because I'm not warm. You can come into reverse namaste, that's your option. You take the arms behind the back, standing tall, inhaling first of all to open up through the chest, squeezing shoulder blades together, exhaling back to upright, inhaling again creating length, exhaling twisting to one side, keeping those hips facing forwards, twisting through the upper body, inhale back to centre, exhale opposite direction, Inhaling again back to centre. This time exhaling into a backward bend. So from here, coming into a deeper backward bend, tucking chin to chest to protect the neck, or extending it if you have that in your practice, inhaling back to upright. And then finally exhaling into your last forward fold, arms behind the back. Inhaling, coming up to standing and just lowering the arms, and again, closing down the eyes, taking time to reflect on the practice. Take at least six deep breaths here. So this is a wonderful practice for encouraging a good posture. Um, it's a good warm up for the forward and backward bending sequences. It's great in the autumn, um, helps lower vata, so vata is the qualities of air and space and ether um, so that kind of flighty feeling we can get um, autumn can be very windy so that's the the link there uh, it just helps us keep grounded so bring emphasis to the feet the legs throughout although they're not doing much apart from keeping you upright bring a sense of solidity there because that's where vata is in the body in the, the lower part of the body in the large intestine pelvis area legs feet to keep that nice and grounded. Ways to lengthen and um, deepen this practice are to practice Ujjayi breath. So that naturally lengthens the breath. Um, if you're unsure on what that is, just try to lengthen the breath, really slow the movements down. Um, what else can you do? Practice with the eyes closed. That can be really nice. And you can do it up to, you know, as many times as you like. But each time try to finesse it, try to slow it down and I hope you enjoy it.